Good evening, my name is Patricia Chauke and I welcome you to another interesting episode of Tales from the Heart. This is a show where you and I will read letters that are sent by some of our viewers at home. They share their heartbreaking stories and some of their deepest, darkest secrets. And this week's first letter is from a lady. She says things that are happening at her workplace are starting to affect her conscience. Dear host, I would like to remain anonymous, please. I am a lady working at a well-known clothing store. I've been working there for almost five months now after transferring from another branch. And although there is nothing wrong with the job, some of the things the managers do, especially during hiring time, are starting to bother me. I know it's a little selfish to say that although I already knew about the whole situation, it didn't start to bother me until my sister applied for a job at another retail company at our local shopping center and was very hopeful that she would get the job. But after going for the interview with the manager, she came home crying. Telling us the story, she said although she qualified for the job, the hiring manager wanted her to sleep with him in order to get the job. Of course she refused and was told to get out as there was no job for her. My sister was very depressed as she'd already been struggling to find a job for some time now and was supporting a newborn. Seeing her sad made me realize that, although I'd seen the same thing happen at work, it had never affected me until now. I remember the first time I saw it happen like it was yesterday. A young lady came to drop off her CV and found the manager. He was very friendly with her. And the next thing I knew, she was working there and promoted to a position higher than most of us with the experience. I later found out that they were sleeping together. So that's how it went. Now and then new job opportunities would open at work and adverts advertising the job calling for people to submit their CVs will be put out on different platforms. But those are just a formality. Only a few people get hired by submitting CVs. When the CVs are dropped off, there's a box we put them in. Everyone who drops a CV, it goes into the box. Now, you'd think after we collect those CVs that people spent money and time to come submit, someone will review them all, but no. 99% of all those CVs go to the rubbish bin or stored at the back in the same box forever. Because those in charge of hiring already have people to put in those positions people that they sleep with in exchange for the job positions and to not raise suspicion. Sometimes they'll pick one CV from the box and hire the person just for control. Young girls sell their dignity and integrity just for a chance to get a job and support themselves. And it's sad to see that more and more girls think this is the only way. And can we blame them though? And like I've said, it's very selfish of me to only realize the wrongness of the whole thing now that my sister is also affected. But sometimes at work, it's best to just go and do your job, mind your business, get paid and go home. That was my mindset this whole time. But now I realize that this is something that is very wrong. The more no one says nothing, the more the corruption gets worse. But what do we do with the whole situation without putting our own livelihoods in danger? I for one am ready to take action, but what do I do that won't put my out of work? The reason I am writing this letter is because I want to know if I should report the matter to someone. But what if they are also involved and I lose my job? Which I can't afford to, or should I just mind my own business and do my job? I will appreciate your advice. Some might say it's selfish, but sometimes you realize some things when they happen to you or to your loved ones. It's natural. What do you think she should do? Join the conversation by leaving your comments below. Our second letter from this week is from a man. He says he doesn't feel in control of his home anymore. Let's hear his story. Good day. Although I was hesitant to write this letter, the pressure of the situation has gotten to the point that it's causing a rift in my marriage. I am a husband and father of two beautiful girls. Six years ago, I married my high school sweetheart, and we've been happily married since then. Everything was perfect for almost five years. We had stable jobs, a nice home, beautiful children, and a rather quiet life. The problem began 
when her father passed on and I am not saying it in a rude way. So after her father passed on and fearing for her mother's safety, she convinced me to allow her to move in with us as she would also help with house chores and looking after the kids, saving us money on a nanny. Now, don't get me wrong. I didn't have any objections with her mother moving in. I never really had a problem with her when we visited, even though we only stayed for a night the most. But soon, our normal, organized and familiar household changed into a place I didn't even recognize. My own home had become a strange place. My wife had always told me that her mother was very controlling and liked things done her way. But I didn't really think much of it until she started controlling my household. It started with small things. Her changing the way things were placed and which cupboard should be used for what. I went from walking into the kitchen, opening the knife's drawer and picking up a spoon without even looking to having to call out and ask where the spoons moved to. You would put something here and she would move it and put it there. Soon, it was what brands of food my wife should buy, even though we'd been using the same brands for many years. Then she decided that she didn't like our part-time housemaid and asked we fire her. We did, but it seemed like as we agreed to her demands, she got more power hungry and things only got worse. She was now deciding what the kids could eat or not eat. She complained about how I talked to my kids and insinuated that I was raising them in a soft way by saying things like, if my husband was alive, he would have done this and that or do it this or that way. Every time I talked to my wife, she basically gave me the what do you want me to do look, like it wasn't a serious issue, we had to bear it all. I understand that she might be used to her mother's way of life, but to me, it's a lot. I am tired of having everything I do questioned and corrected. Now here I am, I've been bearing it for almost a year. Home is supposed to be an escape from work. To me, work is an escape from home. I don't even feel like a man in my own house. Every time I do something, she sort of hits at opposing it. And my wife just gives me the same, what do you want me to do look? I love my wife and I don't want to be that guy. But at this point, I am thinking of suggesting we take her mother to an old age home or something. But what if she says no? What happens if I can't live with her mother here and she doesn't want to send her mother to an old age home? I think it might mean I have to move out, which would probably the beginning of the end of our family. Please, advice on what I can do to save my relationship, but still maintain my sanity and household. Tough situations. We all have to deal with them. It's part of life. Join the conversation by leaving your comments below. And this is it for this week. Join me again same time, same place as we open our two shocking, interesting letters. This is Patricia Chauke and have a good night.